You're watching CARE 11 News in high definition. This is CARE 11 News Saturday. Next, it's still me. We'll tell you about a new Twin Cities company that's giving breast cancer survivors more than hair. We'll explain that in a couple minutes. Well, a new Twin Cities company is helping breast cancer survivors regain their self-esteem while they battle this deadly disease. Jan Strasberg is the owner of It's Still Me Wig Studio in St. Louis Park, and she's also a survivor. It's nice for you to, I'm really happy that you're here with us today. This is a great story. Um, you, yourself, what did you say, two and a half years survivor? Years. April of 2006, I was diagnosed with breast cancer, uh, complete curve, um, living life, thinking everything was great. Um, along came a uh, diagnosis. I um, went through a year of not having hair or a wig, and through that process, I just realized that there's a real need for uh, dealing with the emotional aspect of what hair loss is. Uh, it's more than just putting a wig on your head. It's it's dealing with the emotional aspect of of really a change in identity. And also with your kids, and that's why right. it's called It's right. Still Me. I have two stepdaughters, and the day I came home without hair, with a wig, and a totally different look, um, I remember standing in front of the mirror in the bathroom, pulling off my wig, saying, you know what, hey guys, it's still me. And that's how the name came about. It's a great name. So it appeals to the emotional level of what this is. And look, two years later, look at all two these beautiful years later. locks. <laughs> There's hope. There it is. <laughs> well, we, have a, we have a bunch of survivors today, mm -hmm. and we're going to start out with Julie. And yep. we also have Ted here, who is helping us. Thank you, Ted, so much. Mm -hmm. And here's Julie. Why don't you tell us a little bit about Julie? Sure. Julie is uh, choosing to go through her journey without hair. However, we want to show the, the transformation of what hair can do. And I've always said in my uh, worst of days when I was not feeling well and no hair, putting hair in my head really did help. Ted is a stylist who owns a shop in, uh, in Bloomington, uh, out of a shop called The Hair Shop, actually, and he's an extensive background with wig styling, and he actually sells wigs himself. So, Oh, you look just he's great, Julie. a true gem and talent to have help us style all these women today, and they look absolutely great. Ted, thank you so much, and Julie, thank you so much. We also have a couple other models. You, obviously, opening this shop, have met so many survivors. That must be amazing each and every day. Every day is, it's, it's such rewarding work. I came out of a career where it was an entirely different different feel and I say now every day is either about um, hugs and tears and it's it really what it is is giving people the courage to to face the days ahead the confidence to say you know what I look good I mean that feels good but I look great yeah they leave with a wig but they also they have great. a wonderful experience along mm -hmm. the way exactly who do we have here so we have Teresa who uh, has a little bit of hair under there and she is uh, modeling a wig that has got sort of a short spiky top on it we've put some styling product in it um, oh, it's looks just a fun, fabulous. easy, isn't it? I, so I, it? She looks terrific. It's just really exciting. And she's beaming too, by the way. Fabulous. So uh, very, very natural. And that's Michelle, who's wearing a human hair wig. And I carry both synthetic and human. This is, uh, human hair is, there are pros and cons to both. Um, it requires a little bit more work, but it's it's fun to have. Um, obviously, we we're showing some styling there. I don't want to turn your head a little bit, but you can see we've done some um, uh, clips and, and, and just fun things. So Absolutely. it's a youthful style, and I think uh, you look uh, Great. Very, I mean, very natural. Very Again, natural. Very natural. Thank you so much for both of you mm -hmm. for coming in. And that kind of reminds us about the fact that donation is also really, mm -hmm. really important mm -hmm. of hair. Right? Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. And bless the hearts of the, all, all those people out there who do cut hair off. That's because right. It's just going to a great cause. Well, last but not least, we have two more survivors. Hi. Hi, you both look just fabulous. Who do we have here? Okay, our first model is wearing the, is, actually this wig I think really shows the fun of highlights. And what that is, is I think adding um, depth and it adds a more human look to the hair. You, can, uh, you can't see it close up, but it's just really rich. And that's the, the, uh, where wigs have come. They've come so far with, um, with the highlights. So that's, that's a fun, very you fun feel look. okay with that? You like it? Yes. Yeah. You love it? Doesn't she look great at you? Yep. Oh, so she's able to get a little longer, she's saying. Absolutely. That's great. And uh, last but not least. And last, this? we have Laurel, and uh, she too is just wearing um, a, a fun, it's a synthetic wig. Um, both of these wigs have what we call mono tops, which are a machine stitch top, or uh, sorry, a hand stitch top, which allows the hair to be parted. And again, if you were to be able to see these closely, you'd see a very natural looking uh, hairline or a part oh, it's uh, resembling natural, your own yeah. scalp. And so there's a lot and of craftsmanship that goes into this. A tremendous amount of craftsmanship. So hand-tied tops give it a really natural look. And you, again, they both look very, very real. You guys just look just great. You guys stay. Come on back up. We'll get a final shot. But we want to let people know where your shop is. Okay. And congratulations Thank on you. your journey Thank as you. well. Thank and I'm you. sure a lot of you will be at the Race for the Cure tomorrow morning. I am at the Race for the Cure tomorrow. And a very proud sponsor. And um, I just can't wait. It's an, it's an emotional, exciting, exhilarating 
day. Oh, wonderful. Well, it is, uh, it's called It's Still Me, mm -hmm. and it's a wig studio. It is located in the Lang Nelson Professional Building on Excelsior Boulevard, Suite 401 in St. Louis Park. For more information, give them a call, 952-405-8671, or visit carolevin.com, where we've set, a direct, set up a direct link to Jan's website on our Saturday page. And now, before we go, a nice shot of all of our models. Give us a nice big wave, gals. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back with Carol Levin News Saturday, and of course, Ted. Thank you, Ted. <laughs> Thank you.